Guys, today we're going to be talking about something really important for you paddlers out there and for myself especially. It's this guy right here in all his glory, that is the Warner Caliste. It is a low angle paddle and it is pure carbon fiber and it is a beast. This paddle is excellent. It's not a perfect paddle and it is quite expensive. If I were you and I was looking into getting this, I would do my best to try to get a good deal on it. I did. I got it for 30% off, but I would say even if you paid full price, you won't regret it. It is just an awesome paddle. The swing weight on this thing is ridiculously light. Like, I mean, if you've ever done some serious paddling, you know that at the end of the day, you can be pretty messed up. You can be pretty tired. I mean, it's, it's the good kind of tired, but too much is too much. Um, this thing cuts my fatigue by about half and I'm coming from a decent paddle too. I've only ever used Werner paddles. It's just the first one I got was a Werner Skagit and then I upgraded to a Kamano which I still use too for rivers and stuff. But this thing at the deal at the price I got and just for the quality of this paddle it is excellent. The weight on it is 23.25 ounces. You guys can find that information online. The real world effects of that less weight are less fatigue, higher speeds, higher sustained speeds. You can go faster, longer, and that's a big deal for me. Even with a conservative paddling style, it's got mid-sized blades, so it does work for a lot of people. Uh, there are cons to it, though. I'm not trying to sell you on this. I'm just trying to give you my experiences it's like I said it is not a perfect paddle it does have a slight amount of flutter in it which you would think would be a big deal at a paddle at this price but it's the only time I see that happen it's when I'm starting my paddle stroke like my first paddle after coming to a complete stop once I give it that big power on the first paddle there is a slight amount of flutter and at first it was alarming so that's definitely something that could be fixed and maybe that's an issue for some people especially at this price point but I it's I barely notice it so to me it's not a big deal and it's not something that I worry about and I don't think you should either it's not the only paddle I would have um, it is carbon fiber as for durability I don't push off rocks with it it's not my river paddle I'm not going to take that chance but man it's there's no reason to be scared of a carbon fiber paddle, I think. I mean, they're, they're plenty strong. I've pushed off docks. I've pushed off other boats while I'm on the lake. I've There's times where I'm not thinking about the durability of this paddle, and I don't have to walk on eggshells using it, and it's just fine. I mean, again, I would, within reason, I, I, I think that is the biggest knock against a carbon fiber paddle, is durability and the fact that you're paying a buttload of money. But, honestly, it's really not any the wear on it is really not any more noticeable than my Kamano so that's my two cents on it if you guys like this review um, I'll do a little more of these with the gear that I have uh, give me a thumbs up hit the like button and please hit subscribe I, I appreciate it as always and uh, yeah I hope hopefully, hopefully this helped for you guys looking at this because honestly I like I said I'd buy it again Alright guys, I'll see you next time.